Last year, I got into Tekken 7 with my cousin YT. My Tekken experience before this was messing around in Tekken 4. Yeah, we were kind of a bit behind on the games. The both of us had PlayStation 2, so we would just kind of play it whenever we visited each other. But when Tekken 7 went on sale for like only 50 Rand, we just couldn't justify not buying it. And 70 gigabytes of fighting game assets later, and we were having some of the best gaming sessions that I have ever personally had. Oh. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Wait! Oh. No! <laughs> disrespect on that. <laughs> Coming from a Tekken 4 background, the game was completely different, and as unimportant as the story was, we also had way less catching up than I would think that you would need to do, considering there's been, what, how many games? This many games later. This browser AI doesn't seem to be particularly good at chronologically ordering things. Brave, gotta get on that. Not much actually changed in the story other than World War 3 starting, and I've kind of thought that something important would have happened by now, but apparently not. I don't think that anybody would disagree with me that Tekken 7 is superior to Tekken 4 in pretty much every way, and don't get me wrong, I really enjoy a good game of Tekken 4, because it doesn't really matter what your skill level is, as it's just a button masher where noobs have an actual chance at winning. From what I hear, that's kind of like a new certain Tekken game that came out this year. The skill requirement really skyrocketed in Tekken 7 though. YT was at least able to do his king moves from Tekken 4, but I hadn't really found any particular character to stick with in Tekken 4, since I only played it once a month when we visited each other. So for the first couple weeks, I really, really sucked at this game. Things got better during Tekken 7's campaign though, as I got to try out Elisa, and I haven't stopped playing her since, much to YT's dismay. No, now it's my weak character. This is, <laughs> this is the way. Yeah, for the YouTube package, you need to win. <laughs> Dude, I'm still gonna lose. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. Maybe. Maybe I'm just side sticking the wrong way. Because I'm on the left, you know? So, like, that's illegal. I can't do that for any of your stuff. And if you know me, I like my movement games, so make me fast and deadly and I'm happy. And Elisa happens to be both of those two things, which makes me very happy. At some point, YT made a server for South Africans, Tekken 7 players, and we got a really big group on there. Tekken 7 has a built-in bracket system for creating custom game competitions, which we did on more than one occasion, and it was some of the most fun I've ever had gaming. We had like whole Discord channels specifically for the different brackets. It was insane. I really, really miss that stuff. But in January of this year, Tekken 8 launched and almost everyone kind of moved on from the server into Tekken 8 and not many people actually play Tekken 8 with each other on there anymore. I gave Tekken 8 a shot through Parsec, but that new heat system just isn't for me. Being able to damage opponents even when they block just really doesn't feel right. Eventually I stopped playing Tekken 7 altogether, aside from the occasional couch session with my brother. Fast forward to two weeks ago though, and I heard some players started talking about coming back to Tekken 7, and you know, I was curious to see if that was true, but as far as I can tell, only like maybe four people came back and almost all of them have absolutely terrible connections. And in Tekken 7, if your opponent has a laggy connection, you also have a laggy connection. I hope it's just once. Oh, this is not going to be fun for me. Oh, they didn't do so. Oh. Fight. Like this over here, I could at least like get in and out and see what's happening, you know? I needed someone with really good connection to play with. So I used my most effective sales pitch of my life to this day to convince YT to reinstall the game and play it with me again. Just like that, I made two grand. And so, after convincing him to hop back in, we were back at it. The nostalgia, the competition, the late night laughs. It's been absolutely amazing. Oh, and also the complaining, that's back too. Lots, lots of that. Are we doing classic matchup? Uh, I clicked 
semi-classic. Semi-classic. I can't I remember. Classic. Miguel, I that's who. That's who I did. I did Miguel. I have two guys right now. Claudio is so much fun. I should really pick up that one. Geese yeah. is very stressful. I can't. Your it's geese nice. stresses me out. <laughs> yeah, I like fighting spamming every time. I don't know what you're gonna Just do. Let's go. Professional the professional skin. You got the golden hoodie on. Yeah, this is my professional skin. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Fight. Oh, I did down forward. Mm. Grabs, of course. I can't back dash enough. Oh, that's it. Uh, my forward four run didn't hit, of course. Oh, dude, that comeback! Bro! That no, was good. Oh, frick. Uh, I really thought that I could something. Oh, it's oh the on lag. Oh, my goodness. I blame that on lag. Yeah, uh, that was pretty like. Oh, friend. Twice in a row. Oh, no! <laughs> we haven't gone to the down floor yet. Ah, uh, I do so much little stuff to you, and then you just come with this combo. No! <laughs> I was surprised. No! I dislike that you have a combo that you just do to me twice and I'm gone. It's yeah, terrible. You need to learn carries. <laughs> I hate learning carries. I hate it like Elisa and then I did learn one for a, I did learn one for no, Elisa, but I no, I could do I learned one for Elisa, but you block every launch I have. I can never get it started. That's the problem. <laughs> that leads me to here yeah, right now. YT and I are playing casually every now and then, and I might play it on stream later today to convince him to join if I'm able to stream today. I might be out, but uh, I'm not quite sure yet. Thank you, random stranger on the internet, for listening to me rant about a game that I really like. That's pretty much all this channel is, is it's me ranting about whatever I played this week. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed it, or that you at least got a giggle out of it. I sincerely hope that you have a good day further. Alright, bye!